Hey guys, it's Emit34. Today I'm starting a new thing with my channel. I'm going to start doing stories. I'm going to start telling stories and such over about my life and just talking about random things. I'm just going to start like little videos where I talk about random things depending on whether they... They could be things from my life, little stories that happened, or they could be things just like opinions I have. Essentially, what anything like YouTube animation YouTubers do, except without the animation, because I lack artistic ability. <laughs> and an animation program. So, yeah, instead I'm going to be talking over uh, some video footage of some rec a recording of a video game I'm playing. In this case, it's War Thunder. It's, uh, what game I'm playing depends on what I feel like playing and, uh, what I have recorded. It's just, it won't necessarily be War Thunder, it's just a game that I've decided to be playing. So anyway, why this story in particular? Well, I will explain. I was, uh, talking with a friend of mine uh, a couple nights ago. I forget exactly how long ago it was a, the recording of this audio, but you probably, if you know my, this channel or my gaming channel at all, you will probably know of Wildstyle92. I was talking to her. She's also known as Windy in some places, so I will call her that because it's easier to say than Lost on 92. But um, <clears throat> I was talking to her about a uh, about the time I actually ate a jellyfish once. It was at a I was at a restaurant and it was my birthday and I was it was a hot pot restaurant and they I noticed they had jellyfish salad so I decided you know I'll try I'll just try a bit of jellyfish see how I like it so they brought out a little sampling of jellyfish and I tried it and I actually liked it she was of course grossed out by that but then anyways that aside I was talking about that with her and then I decided to go on to um talking about the time I actually did meet a real life jellyfish in the water once it's not the only time but this is one that sticks out to me so then I thought, you know, I like telling stories like this, so you know, you, when you make a YouTube channel, you should make it about things you're passionate about. And that's probably why that I've sort of slowed down with uploading videos on this channel and my gaming channel, because I'm not so passionate about, not passionate about uh, gaming and whatever else I was doing on this channel enough to uh, make videos on it. I still do it, it's just that the, the has it's a bit of hassle to to uh, edit the video. So this one I think will be a little easier to edit, so hopefully I'll be able to do a couple of these. But anyways, as I was saying, I was talking to her about that, and then I thought, you know, why don't I tell talk to her about the time I actually did meet a real-life jellyfish? And see, she said, ooh, story time! So I went in on that, told her the story, and then... I thought that's when I just again that's when I decided to be good it would, might be fun to tell stories like that on YouTube and just talk on YouTube over stuff like that so here we are and I'm so I decided to start out with that with that story to see what happens this video is probably my first video on this I'm honestly a little nervous getting into it but so I might stutter a bit and jumble my words so hopefully you can excuse that anyway Moving on, let's get started with the story. So this story takes place a couple, maybe like, I don't know, uh, when I was 11. When I was 11, me and my family went on this trip to a beach. I can't remember what it was called, but it was somewhere in Maryland. And it was this beach, it had fossils, and it had um, a little water area. It was inland, I think it was in a bay of some maybe Chesapeake, I'm not sure. So, driving to that beach, one thing that uh, you need to know about me is that I have a slight fear of the ocean. I hate putting my feet anywhere where I can't actually see them and there's a chance that something might sting me or bite me or nip me or otherwise cause me pain. Which is pretty much in any sort of any sort of murky water <laughs> uh, counts as that. So when I so going driving to this place, I can't remember exactly how it went. And um but I guess I must have, like, voiced my concerns, thinking, like, are there any, like, sharks or anything in this water or something? And my mother said, no, there's this net that surrounds the swimming area, so nothing can swim into it. And I was relieved, but unfortunately, she was slightly deceived, as we will figure out later in the episode. I'll explain. But anyway, so we got there, and the beach, let me describe what the beach was like. The beach, it was this stretch of sand, and on one end... There was on the, one if you're look, facing the ocean from the beach, or the bay, or whatever type of body of water this was, there was this stone pier jetty something that you could climb up on and walk along. 
to the left of it. To your left is just a bit of sand, and in front of you there's this little area, maybe it was like, ooh, maybe a hundred feet long, or maybe... Maybe it was like a hundred feet wide alongside the sand, and then it went out to the water maybe like 10, 15 feet. And you could wade in there, swim, blah, 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 blah. And you could also find fossils, which I thought was interesting, little shark teeth. So, anyway, I went there, and we got to the water, I'm there, and I don't, I can't remember if I mentioned this, not. we were there with some friends, and... I went into the water, and was just having fun, blah 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 blah, going around in the water, and I had a net, I remember. And 11 year old me was just going around there, and then suddenly he noticed something in the water. At this point I was like, um, I was right next to the stone jetty pier thing, and maybe about two or three feet away from it. And I was maybe knee, uh, anywhere between knee and waist deep. I can't remember because the details are kind of muddled. But I went out there, and there was this shape in the water. And I was maybe about three feet away from it. And it was, whatever it was, it looked like it was coming towards me. And I looked at it and thought, it looks like an eel. For some reason, my mind went to electric eel, even though they live in South America and very much not Maryland. But... I went, so I saw it, and I had my net in hand, and being the slightly idiotic 11-year-old I was, I decided, you know, let's, let's see, I've got a net, let's see if I can grab it, even though my net was probably about only a little wider than the, whatever it was, was wide. So I was thinking it was some kind of eel, and of course, this is, can we, let's, let me just pause and admire my logic here. I was afraid of there being something in that water that could bite me or nip me or somehow injure me, yet at the same time, I was brave enough to walk right up to an eel who very well could do any one of those things. <laughs> anyway, so, at least I thought I was an eel, so I walk up closer to it, and when I'm maybe about maybe a foot away from it, I realize that it's not an eel. <laughs> I notice it's just a half circle shape with some tentacles. And that's when I realize that's a jellyfish. And you can imagine I was kind of scared. I was like, it's not even supposed to be in here because there's a net around that. I'll explain in a minute how it got in there. But anyway, my, br my little eight year old brain for the first time that day showed some level of sense. The moment I realized it, I took one look at it turned, made a big 180, and ran screaming towards the shore at the top of my lungs, JELLYFISH! Seriously, it was like, you know, like those shark movies where, like, someone yells shark and everybody's running from the water like that. That is exactly what it looked like here. <laughs> I'm not kidding, that is not an exaggeration, it looked like, it, it must have looked like, I must have looked like one of those characters. So anyway, I ran from the water screaming, and my mother said I may, may not have scared some of the other kids there, but oh well. And you can imagine I didn't really go too deep into the water for the rest of the day. So anyway, for the second part of this adventure, the uh, me and my mother were sitting on the shore doing something, I can't remember, and then this guy, maybe like 20 feet out in the water, said, hey, do you want to see some jellyfish? And he had this net, I think. Either that or it was his bare hands, which sounds more dramatic, but I think it was a net. And I'm trying to be honest here. So, he had this, he reached into the water with his net, picked it up, and promptly dropped it. <laughs> and my mother, of course, had the appropriate reaction of screaming, if I recall correctly. But, yeah, that was interesting, because I remember having this distinct memory of it being there, and then it being picked up in the net, and then slipping out of it. That was terrifying. <laughs> anyway, swiftly on to the third part of this, the third point of this adventure. Later in the day, I was up on that stone uh, jetty or pier, whatever it's called. I hope it is that. Is that actually what you call it? Is that what you call it, jetty? Is that actually what is defined jetty? I don't. I, I can't spell it right. Apparently, yeah, a jetty. Yeah, that's all right. That's good. 
Sorry. Anyway, so I was up on top of this stone jetty thing, and there were a bunch of other kids there. I think they were mostly guys. I think they were about my age, maybe like within a couple years. And of course my sister was there too, and we were all standing there on top, and one of the kids had gra somehow taken his bucket and somehow picked up a jellyfish with it, put a, je put a jellyfish in it. Either, I, I don't know, I can't remember how he, I have no idea how he did it. He probably just scooped it up from the water, but anyway. Now from this point onwards, I will be honest, I'm not entirely sure how exactly this happened, so this is only the to the best of my memory. I've actually said multiple accounts to this as my memory changed, but as my, I mean, as I gathered more memory, but essentially, what happened was this kid had scooped up the jellyfish, and I was like, don't do that, it's, you're gonna sting yourself or something, I can't remember exactly. I guess they were poking it or something, and... The kid was like, nah, it's fine, and I said, the tentacles will sting you, and he was like, nah, it's fine. And then, the next thing I remember him doing is literally, he took his two, his two finger, well, his finger and his thumb, put them up to the jellyfish, and pinched one of the jellyfish's tentacles. And I can already hear all of my audience members going, oh! Oh, that's gotta hurt. But the thing is, the scary thing is, he was unharmed! <laughs> I'm serious. He didn't... I don't... He was unharmed. He didn't scream. He didn't, he, didn't, he didn't even seem hurt at all. He just went about his day. And... I was in... <laughs> I was like, what? And I'm still looking back at... I mean, again, I'm gonna be honest. I was 11 years old, and it's been a couple year, uh, many years since then. So, I'm thinking that I maybe I have some, some, either I saw something and that I didn't actually see, or like my memory's wrong, because I already know that this story again may not be 100% factual in uh, how I told it, because of my memory, my teenage, uh, my, <laughs> my 11 year old memory. So again, I just, I don't know what I saw, but from what I saw at the time, it literally looked like this little kid, maybe like 9 or 10 years old, took a jellyfish tentacle and s pinched it off without being harmed. <laughs> so I don't know, maybe there's some explanation that I'm missing or something. Again, so yeah. Now, I don't know about you, but if you can walk up to a, anything that stings, grab the ant part of it that stings and just pinch it off without being harmed, especially like a jellyfish, I don't know about you, but that... That's gotta at least qualify for some minor superpower. I'm totally not stealing that from a comment I once saw on a YouTube video where a guy had a put, held the queen of bees and then held a fist of bees. Never mind, let's move on. So, as I was telling the story to my friend and Wendy, she said, out of interest, were there any other, were there any girls around? Which is a valid point, maybe, it's, I mean, from how I remembered the memory, it didn't, it wasn't at all like he was trying to impress anyone, but thinking about it, and I did say this to her, I was thinking like, I kind of hope there were some girls around because he like, if that is something to be impressed about, like, that is, he deserved it, and he deserved girls sw this, swooning over this kid because I sure was impressed, and yeah, that, I just, I'm still slightly mystified to this day as to how he did it. <laughs> Moving on from that to the third point of interest. Towards the end of the day, it was getting late, the sun was setting, it was kind of getting kind of cold. And apparently my sister, who was a couple years younger than me, was floating on some kind of floaty in this, uh, in this bay or something. And then she felt something brush against her hand and looked down and she, he saw something drifting by. And then she was in pain. <laughs> so she got stung by a jellyfish. And I have this distinct memory of her sitting on the shore in tears with her hand in a bucket of seawater. Because apparently that's something you can do for jellyfish stings. Some, I, I don't know, someone said you could do that. I don't know. Anyway, yeah. But it, it, she felt better within like maybe a couple, like maybe 15 or 20 minutes. Or maybe longer, I'm not sure. It, it didn't last too long. Anyway, after that, we all went to a restaurant, and I ended up seeing a 
baby spit up, and then we went home, so yeah, fun times. <laughs> Talking about baby spitting up, why is it that kids, this is a, a side note, why is it that kids were always like amplifying anything gross? Like, at the time I was maybe 11, and then there were some kids who were maybe a couple years younger than me, they were like maybe 6 and 5, 4, something like that at the time. And now, first thing you gotta know about me, I have the constitution of a jellyfish who has just eaten a bowl of bad Taco Bell. So it's not hard to make me feel nauseous, not at all. So I was there at the restaurant and our friend there, the adult there, who was the mother of the kids, had a baby and she was patting its back and all that. And then it had a rather large spit up over, over her. And of course that made me feel black. So then I was like feeling yeesh, and then one of the kids, the younger of the two kids there, who wasn't the baby, turned to me and says, yeah, he spit up all over me too and my brother. Seriously, he said something like that. I mean, what he actually, he actually said some names and I don't like releasing actual names on the internet, so. But like, yeah, why do kids do that? I, I can name a couple, a, a multiple times where like something, some kid has said something gross or did something, or blah blah blah, or something gross happened, and then either they're like, stuffing said gross thing in my face, or mentioning it bluntly over and over again, or somehow intentionally or unintentionally tormenting me with it, and... Ugh, why do they do that? Like, why? <laughs> Just, it drives me crazy. I'm, that was probably the closest I've, one of the closest times I've been to actually throwing up, that I didn't actually throw up. <laughs> So, yeah, that might have also had something to do with I had some uh, muscles or something. Uh, my said fr adult friend let me try some muscles, and I think I had a slight allergic reaction to them, but it wasn't too serious. Like, my throat just got a little tight. That was it. But, yeah, why do kids do that? Anyway, uh, this video is dragging on long, so. Then we all just went home, and that was it. That was the end of the day. So, the moral of the story... Well, I guess don't mess with jellyfish. <laughs> like, just if you ever see a jellyfish in the wild, don't mess with it. S stay away from it. Don't go near it. And unless you're that one kid who could pinch off tentacles, then you might want to consider a career as a superhero or a supervillain. You know, that could work. That would be a great supervillain, actually. Like, he enslaves jellyfish kind by threatening to pinch off their tentacles or else work for him. And then enslaves them to take over the world. That, se that seems like the plot for a science fiction movie of some sort. Maybe that would be good. 